We're going to have a live look at your North Shore Drive in a couple of minutes, though. See how it's going on out there. Yeah, but unfortunately, that rain is going to be back with us today as you get ready to hit the roadways out there. Yeah, today, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and. Uh, <laughs> Amen. You know, I hate saying this, but I it looks know. like Sunday too. We oh. may really? see some scattered rainfall. Yeah. So we're extending. We're extending we're, it now. We're extending it now. The the flash flood watch has been extended. It was extended yesterday through uh, Friday evening. It may be extended through Saturday. Uh, so we're keeping our eyes on that as well. Uh, this is what it looks like through our hotel monitor camera this morning. Then uh, overall, not a bad morning here in the Crescent City. Uh, no real issues with fog, unless of course you're going towards Baton Rouge, where visibility is pretty low out in that direction. Uh, and uh, up in uh, Macomb. Visibility is actually pretty good. Uh, here's a look at your headlines for today. Well, that flash flood watch, as I mentioned, extended through Friday evening. More showers and storms today, and a good chance of rain is going to be with us. It looks like through the weekend. Uh, here's here's a setup right now. That low pressure area that's just up to the north of us, a frontal boundary that's uh, just tangent to us here in southeast Louisiana. A lot of activity uh, all across the uh, eastern half of the country and down in the Gulf of Mexico as well. Lots of moisture making its way uh, into our area. Uh, once again this morning, I'm expecting that to be the case for us uh, tomorrow as well, although there will be a period of time when the winds will shift off a little bit, but uh, still over the weekend will we'll be, for the most part, uh, southerly winds, if not southwesterly winds will be with us. Uh, right now, we are mostly rain-free across southeast Louisiana, but as you can see, uh, just to the southwest of us, there is rain headed in this direction, and there's a little bit starting to show up along the coastline, and uh, over towards Biloxi, we had a little bit of rainfall that uh, was uh, just to the east of that area about a half an hour or so ago, but not much right now. Here's what I'm expecting to happen as we make our way through the morning. This is at 9 a.m. Lots of shower and thunderstorm activity with us across Terrebonne Parish and uh, lower uh, Lafouche Parish, as well as parts of the North Shore, uh, including Tangibaho and St. Tammany, a little bit into Washington Parish as well. That's going to spread across uh, the South Shore into the city, maybe uh, across uh, the North Shore and parts of Southwest Mississippi as well. So I think we're going to see some pretty intense shower and thunderstorm. Thunderstorm activity uh, between about 9 a.m. and 8 a.m. and about noontime today. And then we get a bit of a break this afternoon, although I think we'll still see some scattered showers at that time, maybe a few storms as well. And uh, we're probably going to see it when you're going to pick up the kids this afternoon, although I don't think it's going to be as bad as what we, uh, what we were going to have a little bit later on this morning. Here's a look at your Friday morning, and we'll wake up to some scattered showers as well, maybe some storms along the coastline and just off to the west of us as well, and some pretty intense thunderstorm activity once again. And making its way into southeast Louisiana, especially the South Shore, by about 9, 8, 9, 10 a.m. in the morning. So expect that rainfall today. Expect it tomorrow. Expect some showers and uh, maybe some storms to be with us on Saturday as well. And I think we're going to see quite a, a bit of rainfall across a good portion of the area. This is a look at what's going to happen between now and uh, Sunday morning. And the red indicates the possibility of seeing anywhere from two and a half to about four inches of rainfall. The orange indicates over four inches of rainfall. As a possibility. So there is a lot more rainfall in store for us uh, over the next couple of days. Right now, there's not much around at the airport. The humidity is high, which is also no big surprise. And here's a look at your seven day forecast showing you those high rain chances through the weekend. Uh, but uh, I tell you what, next week should be pretty nice. Uh, I guess that's some good news, right, Susan? Yeah, yeah, you know.